Hi guys. Good lord what the difference a day makes. It is an arctic blast blowing through the paradise of Inverness, Florida here on this freezing. Uh, it is Friday, February 21st, 2020. This, we are in the middle of an arctic blast. I can only imagine what it feels like in the rest of this country. But since it is Friday, uh, February 21st, 2020, and this is Collapse Chronicles, you know what it's time for. It is time for our Manga Bay Roundup rant. And before I dive into that, this is Sam Mitchell, and this is Collapse Chronicles, where we chronicle the collapse of the of civilization in the planet and uh, I do want to send out a big thank you for <coughs> to brothers Warren and James for all of their for all of their kind support and help here for what I do on YouTube we're having uh, getting to know each other down here at uh, what will soon be the hip camp in uh, Inverness, Florida, and hopefully you folks can come join me. Anyone listening to this, guys, I'm going to be here till Fed for one more week, and anybody is very welcome to come uh, join me and pitch a tent and hang out for margaritas for sunset or whatever. Just email me at collapsechronicles at gmail.com, and we'll set that up. But with all of those pleasant tasks... Let's head to the sometimes not so pleasant task of our Friday roundup where I go over and check in with mongabay.com with Rhett Butler and the boys and girls out there in San Francisco as they chronicle uh, the collapse of the planet for this week. Uh, they want to start out talking about, I need to see this, uh, this new movie about the Belo Monte Dam. Uh, what is the name of this? Uh, it would be real nice if they gave us the name of the first full-length film. Okay. Uh, anyway... There's some movie out there, and I wish I knew the name of it, about the Belo Monte Dam that we need to check out. Anyway, let's get into the nitty-gritty. Okay, we're going to start out there in Nicaragua. Wow. Here we go. It is now February, and we have a massacre. A massacre in Nicaragua as four indigenous community members killed for their land. On January 29th, dozens of armed men stormed the indigenous Alal Nicaragua community. Four people dead, two more injured, 16 houses burned to the ground. Uh, the UN Human Rights Office say the armed group was connected to land grabbers engaged in illegal logging and cattle ranching on protected indigenous land. There you go. Um, the village is located in Basawas Biosphere Reserve, a UNESCO site in northern Nicaragua. Ragua that hosts the largest remaining tract of rainforest left in Central America. The deforestation rate there is climbing as people migrate from southern Nicaragua and illegally clear forests for cropland, cattle pasture, and mining. Satellite imagery shows deforestation in the area has increased significantly just in the past couple of months. In the past five years, 40 people, 40 people, uh, land defenders have been gunned down. There you go. Uh... 
Okay, guys, there is uh, a lot on my plate today, so I'm only going to have time. I am running behind on uh, my real estate business here. So let's touch on a few stories. How about Brazilian meat giant JBS expands its reach in China? Hmm, who would have thought that the Brazilian meat packer JBS has agreed to supply this Hong Kong-based meat processor with access to retail outlets throughout China? Yes, with products worth around $687 million uh, this year alone. The push for cattle pasture drives most of the deforestation in the Amazon, while soybean plantations to supply pig and chicken feet chicken feed have replaced large tracts of the wooded savannas of the Cerrado ecosystem. So you know, uh, I'm always bragging about how I do not eat beef. I do not eat beef uh, because of its environmental footprint, but of course I do eat pork and chicken, which are fed soy. There is no way to win. Anyway, then of course, if you're a vegan and you're eating tofu, uh, guys, anyway, uh, okay, we have found a new population of rare deer in Brazil, but take a wild guess, uh, what is, uh, what is happening where this new deer herd was found. While finding the new herd is good news, it is tempered by the fact that the uh, largest of those groups is an area known as Brazil's Arc of Deforestation, where the land is fast being taken over for agriculture. So, uh, you know, you hear this all the time that they find some new species of animal or some rare population and then it is extinct before they even get to study it. Uh, here we go. Let's go over there to Indonesia. Indonesia probes suspected nuclear waste dumping at housing estate. Yes. Uh, Indonesian authorities have launched an investigation into radioactive contamination at a housing development near a nuclear research reactor outside Jakarta. Yes. Uh, environmental activists have renewed their calls for the Indonesian government to refrain from developing nuclear power in the country given the inability of regulators to police even a research facility. Okay, here in the paradise of Bali, yeah, look at some of these videos of the tropical paradise of Bali where the plastic plague threatens paradise. The lack of a centralized waste management system in Bali, as in much of Indonesia, has led to most trash being dumped on land, rivers, and in the sea. Indonesia is the world's number two contributor to plastic waste in the oceans behind only China. And this is tr very true in Bali, as anywhere else. Gee, wow. Burning and bullets. Forest fires push orangutans into harm's way. Hmm. Yes. Last year, a female orangutan in Indonesian Borneo was rescued after leaving her burned-out habitat. Experts later found signs uh, 
uh, well, well, more, more and more. You know, the orang, good Lord, the orangutans don't even get me going. Uh, wildfires in Indonesian Borneo last year led to an increase in the number of human orangutan conflicts and wildlife rescues. I bet it did. Um... Another story on uh, the coronavirus uh, and all of the misinformation and disinformation. And I, it's really out of the purview. I'm not sure why Manga Bay is taking this on, other than, of course, the connection to the pangolin. Uh, okay. Let's move on to what is on the Pope's mind. Pope makes impassioned plea to save the Amazon. Will the world listen? Hmm. In a 94-page document entitled Dear Amazon, Pope Francis has made an impassioned plea for world leaders, transnational companies, and people everywhere to step up and protect the Amazon rainforest, along with the indigenous people who live there. The Amazon is seeing rapid deforestation in Brazil, Peru, Bolivia, and Colombia, while violence against indigenous people keeps rising. Scientists say climate change and deforestation are forcing a forest to savanna tipping point, which could lead, read, which will lead to a massive tree die off, the release of huge amounts of CO2, and global climate catastrophe. All right, this is quoting Pope Francis, quote, We are water, air, earth, and life of the environment created by God. For this reason, we demand an end to the mistreatment and destruction of Mother Earth. The land has blood, and it is bleeding. Hmm, the multinationals have cut the veins of our Mother Earth. Yes. Um, faith leaders uh, applaud the Pope. Yes, so, uh, so the Interfaith Rainforest Initiative uh, is applauding the new thing, but... Most media ignored the Pope's message, focusing instead on his verdict disallowing Amazon priests from marrying was much bigger than, uh, anyway, Mother Earth bleeding to death. Okay, what is, we've all heard what Jeff Bezos has been up to this week, and somehow I've managed to keep my mouth shut as Jeff Bezos, one of the single biggest, you know, the richest man on the planet and one of the biggest planet eaters in the history of humanity, Jeff Bezos, uh, world's richest person, establishes $10 billion Earth Fund to combat climate change. Yes, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos has announced he will commit $10 billion of his own personal wealth to combat climate change, which will leave him with $120 billion in his pocket. Uh, the Bezos Earth Fund will support, quote, any effort that offers a real possibility to help preserve and protect the natural world, close quote, according to his Instagram. Of course, he does not point out that shutting down Amazon.com, which has a carbon footprint probably the size of sub-Saharan Africa, nowhere uh, does he mention 
shutting down Amazon.com as a possibility to help preserve and protect the natural world, but good for the biggest uh, planet eater and richest person on the planet, giving $10 billion of his money, which will only leave him $120 billion in his pocket to spend on whatever, probably some uh, new jet airplane, some uh, $10 million cruise ship size yacht, uh, probably three more Jaguars. Anyway, let's move on from Jeff uh, Bezos back. Uh, well, I've mentioned this story. This is just the latest update on this. Two deaths trigger alarm at Mexico's Monarch Butterfly Biosphere Reserve. Um, two butterfly uh, protectors, Homero Gonzalez and Raul Romero, uh, apparently murdered for trying to protect this uh, forest preserve, you know, where the monarch butterflies, uh, where the monarch butterflies spend the winter that these planet eaters want to cut down. I think the one of them ended up at the bottom of a well. Jeez. And here we go. From we, we've been to Nicaragua to Mexico over to Indonesia. Family seeks justice as probe into Indonesian activist death stalls. I bet it does. Uh, the cops in Indonesia prosecuting someone killing an environmental defender. Please. Okay, we have a new film about how mining could topple community-managed forest in Mexico. Uh, community residents in the state of Puebla are concerned about the exploration of gold currently underway in their region. Mining concessions currently cover around 30% of the entire state of Puebla. Opponents of the mine say it will sap vital water, water sources and destroy the local economy. Yes, I don't think they care about uh, the local economy. Okay. Um... What is going on with leopards in Sri Lanka? Since 2018, there have been a spate of leopard killings, including inside nature reserves, sparking concern about the fate of the, a big cat population that has dwindled to an estimated 1,000 remaining today. Uh, the leopard's popularity among tourists and photographers has also led to disruptions in its habitat by large groups of visitors who cause traffic jams and noise in the midst of the wilderness. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, here is a an R.I.P. Uh, Requiem to the Chinese paddlefish. Extinction of a megafish. Can this spark action to save other migratory freshwater species? Yes, the Chinese paddlefish, recently declared extinct, was likely the world's longest freshwater fish as well as one of the oldest swimming in the river since the time of the dinosaurs. Uh, 
Hmm, it's too late for this species, but there is still time to save many of the world's remaining migratory fish. Yes. Okay, we're going to have a new treaty to save the migratory fish. There you go. Wow. Imagine this. Would you believe that palm oil and pulpwood firms have been targeted over the 2019 fires? Yes, the fire season last year burned an area half the size of Belgium and released double the amount of carbon dioxide as all the fires in the Amazon rainforest uh, last year. Yep, good luck cracking down on that. Um, all right, economist, conservationist, and political leaders urge adoption of a carbon tax to halt tropical deforestation. Yes, a comment piece published in Nature yesterday urges tropical countries to adopt a tax on carbon emissions in order to halt global warming, species loss, and deforestation. Yes, yes, yes. Good luck on that. Uh, okay, we have a new term for the collapse of a planet. The blue acceleration Study shows humans surging incursions into the sea. Population growth and demand for diminishing ter terrestrial resources are placing increasing pressure on the ocean. A new study highlights a sharp uptick in marine activity and defines the blue acceleration as the unprecedented rush by humans for food, ma material, and space taking place in the ocean. Quoting the report, the ocean is not only crucial for sustaining global development trajectories, but is being fundamentally changed in the process. Do you think so? But anyway, guys, we're going uh, to leave it right there because I am freezing and uh, I've got someone giving me the signal. It is time to go to Lowe's to replace the lumber that fell out of the back of my truck. The $50 worth of lumber. Uh, that this idiot at Lowe's packed on top of a sheet of plywood for my outhouse. The lumber went flying out of the back. Hopefully did not kill anybody. So someone got them a nice load of lumber, and I get to go spend another $50 to replace the lumber. So get out there and uh, enjoy all the Lowe's lumber you can get your planet eating hands-on while you still can. And uh, if you did enjoy what uh, Rhett Butler at Manga Bay had to bring the news, please spend a few seconds to thumb up this video. If you did not appreciate what Rhett Butler had to say to you, you can take a few seconds to thumb it down. And by all means, please subscribe to Collapse Chronicles while you are over here. And uh, come see me. I will be down here after this one day of Arctic blast. The weather will be beautiful again tomorrow. I will be around for one more week. And I would love to meet up with you here in the collapse of global industrial civilization in Inverness, Florida. My guys.